Well, we have our favorite vet on today. Yeah, We've actually been excited. like picking her brain to see what she can tell us about our animals. Every and time. she's also the small business person of the year. It's a huge honor. And we have her in today. She's joining us live. Yeah, Dr. Gina Queston. She's from Aspen Park Vet Hospital. Welcome to Great Day Colorado. We haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. This is an amazing accolade. How do you feel about that? When you received that accomplishment, that must have been amazing. Yeah, it's still kind of overwhelming. I mean, yeah. honestly, to just think about my little practice in Conifer and that they have all the 168,000 businesses in Colorado that I get to represent all of us. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming, but of course I can't do it without my team. Absolutely. You know, they're really what let me do what I can do. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of reasons that you received this honor, but this is what I asked you about last time. I'm like, what? What does she do? Um, you are the only certified aquatic vet in the state and that's a specialty. What What is it? Explain the it to only? people. The only? Yeah, I'm actually the only certified aquatic vet in this center of the country, really. So I was the 21st person in the world to get that designation. And it's just wow. a additional designation that you can get after vet school that just uh, demonstrates your expertise in aquatic animal medicine. Yes. So uh, if you ever have a sick fish, I'm the person oh my you want to call. A sick fish. Yes. So I can call you about my goldfish? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh That's my gosh, if she goes belly up, call Dr. No, you got to call me before she goes <laughs> belly up. Okay? That's true. You You're actually so right. performed a surgery. Uh, remind me. Yeah. On what? Yeah. Well, I mean, done, I do fish surgery all the time, you know, yes. the little tumors and things like that wow. that they get. So, um, yeah, it's not unreasonable uh, for little fish to get good veterinary care, too. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. And talk with us about your uh, holistic approach and practice uh, where you are. It's r really special, right? Yeah, so in addition to providing fish medicine, we're also holistic veterinary practice. So we do a lot of out-of-the-box thinking for really complicated cases, and we do acupuncture and laser, and I have a, a thermal uh, digital camera that I just purchased. I'm really excited about. Wow. It's so amazing. It can actually pick up uh, cancer like inside like the liver of a wow. dog. You know, so it's, it's really amazing amazing tool that's non-invasive that I can use to help um, find out where things hurt in an animal that can't tell me where it hurts. Yeah. Wow. Is this typical within a veterinary clinic? Um, or is I this very special to yeah, you guys? Yeah, it's a little special yeah. to us, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, I always heard all of the things that you did for Paula's dogs and, and the holistic approach you used with them and, and cured them of so many things. Um, you also have an animal rescue. Tell us about that. Yes, and um, so I have a horse rescue called the Rescue Ranch. Um, what's really different about it is that we really emphasize positive reinforcement training, and mm -hmm. so it's not really just about trying to get a bunch of animals in. It's really about educating children um, and adults about um, positive reinforcement, um, why you want to adopt and not shop when you're looking for animals and things like that. So it's really about education for us. Okay, and there are plenty of other rescues in the area. What truly separates you from everybody else? Why should people come to you? Yeah, because I think what happens with a lot of the other rescues or even shelters is you go and you get an animal and you think it's cute and fuzzy and then you take it home and you have no idea what you're getting yourself into, Ooh, right? Mm -hmm. so, so I've been doing these free community classes for about 12 years where I teach little kids about horses and horse safety and how to be around them. And, and then I have a more advanced, um, actually training master classes for people that really want to get into understanding positive reinforcement training and how that's different than kind of the average um, thing that's out there. I just love that you have all these different approaches. You're into education as well. She's I a mean, triple threat, wow, if we're being honest here, folks. Unbelievable. No yeah. wonder you got the honor. Yeah, well, thank, <laughs> you. Yeah. thank you. Yeah. So how can people help out the animal rescue? Tell us. Um, you know, the biggest thing people can really do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right. Okay. There you go. Okay. Plug it in there. there. Yeah, please. The, it's uh, the one Dr. Q, the DRQ1. Um, that really helps because if we can get our viewership up there, then we can get some sponsorships and things like that to help the animals. Um, so, of course, we always love donations to the Rescue Ranch, and you can learn about that on our Network for Good site um, and our website, um, rescueranch.org. Um, but yeah, that's really what we need right now. Okay. Awesome. I'm sitting here thinking, what can't she do right. for the most part? Right. And you've had quite the journey so far. What does your future look like? Is there anything that's uh, coming up next that's pretty fun? And well, I'd like to get some rest. You yeah. Know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, we feel that. <laughs> yeah, and really just, I, I, we need a location for the Rescue Ranch, a permanent location. That's sort of our biggest challenge right now um, is just we, have, right now we have a lot of animals. They're all in public facilities um, because it's 
really haven't been able to find that perfect spot yet mm -hmm. that allows me to have the classes and sure. get more animals in and things like that. So if you have, you know, a ranch out there you're not using that you'd let us come in and oh, use. Oh, wow. Would be, that that's, would be great. that's a tall order, but I think you're going to get it. And <laughs> shout out to your daughters who are here today, too. Yes. They're so lovely. They're getting yes. video behind the cameras. Yeah. And for more information on Dr. Q's vet and organization, go to aspenparkvet.com and res Q with a Q ranch.org. And thanks to Aspen Park Vet Hospital and the Rescue Ranch organization for sponsoring this segment. All right, and coming up next.